Life City family, it is time for another top 10 things to buy at one of my favorite grocery stores. Today we're at Whole Foods. We're continuing the trend of top 10 things to buy at grocery stores for 2023. I come to Whole Foods a lot. I say Whole Foods and Costco are my top two grocery stores. So we're gonna do what we've been doing at all these grocery stores this month. Walk around, show you the top 10 things to buy here, how to read the ingredients and make sure they're Bobby approved. What do I mean by Bobby approved? I mean best in class ingredients. So let's talking more shopping. Let's walk around Whole Foods. If you go to the front of the store, in the cooler section where the coffees are, is one of my favorite chocolate bars on the planet midday squares and actually my favorite flavor peanut butter is sold out but this is a functional chocolate bar with next level ingredients you see what's going on here it's sweetened with maple syrup and coconut sugar but one square only has what does that say three three grams of added sugar four grams of fiber and six grams of protein but this tastes so sweet and decadent it tastes like more than three grams of sugar this is unbelievable for a functional, best-in-class chocolate bar, and the oil is olive oil. I love these. They have a new flavor called cookie dough, which I haven't seen in the stores yet. Peanut butter is my number one favorite, um, but cookie dough is number two. They also have it at Target now. If you see it and you want a functional chocolate bar that's beyond Bobby approved, Midday Squares out of Canada. A is the best. The cereal aisle, such a landmine. Even when you're at Whole Foods, uh, most of these, 95% are just junk food. Something like this, you'll see organic, you'll think it's good for you, doesn't mean anything. Yes, it's organic, whole grain oats and corn, so it's non-GMO corn, but what's the sweetener? Cane sugar. A one cup serving has, what does that say? 10 grams of added sugar, which is two and a half teaspoons. Say hello to refined processed sunflower oil and natural flavors. But luckily for us, one of the most Bobby approved tasty cereals is on sale right now. And so what does that say? 131, seven Sundays. The price did go up recently, but the sale price is great. This is the one I have in my pantry right now. And it looks like people already sold out of the uh, blueberry one and the maple one. But wanna see something crazy? This is cocoa. That was cocoa. The difference is how many grams of sugar for a one cup serving? One gram. But is it cane sugar? No, no, no. It's dates and coconut sugar. Does this have corn or oats at all? No, it's paleo. It's sunflower protein, not sunflower oil. Sunflower protein, cassava flour, coconut sugar with one gram of sugar. Listen, we don't eat cereal for breakfast. I like a hearty keto trucker's breakfast with two eggs and keto toast and dairy-free uh, cream cheese and all that stuff. This is what we eat for dessert on the couch while watching the season of Tulsa King with Sylvester Stallone that just finished. How good was that show? That role was made for uh, Sly Stallone. That was amazing. This stuff is fantastic. I love it. But if you eat cereal, like once in a while Rose does for breakfast, this is the kind of stuff you want to give your kids because it's paleo and the sugar's so low and it's made from coconut sugar and dates. Go to Whole Foods, try it until it's on sale to the end of the month for $5.84. This flavor is great. I'd say maple sea salt even better, but this is the kind of cereal you want for the big kids and the small kids. If you walk over to the fishmonger here, you'll see farm salmon, you'll see sockeye and maybe coho salmon, but then you'll see this. You don't have coho right now, or not now. They just have sake right now. But you'll see this, king salmon. This, in my opinion, is the best wild salmon you can get. Because listen, I have nothing against sockeye salmon or coho, which they don't have now, but it's a lean wild salmon, which tends to overcook easily. King salmon is wild too, but it is the most fatty wild salmon you can get. So it doesn't overcook easily at all. Last week it was on sale for 25% off. Wait for it to go on sale. You will love this. It's so juicy and fatty. Oh my gosh, it's such a treat. And I believe it's only the uh, Whole Foods in the Southeast. Thompson Farms is a pasture-raised non-GMO farm in Georgia. And look at this. These are pasture-raised pork sausages with clean ingredients for $3.59. And back there is pasture-raised non-GMO bacon for $11. Amazing deals for true pasture-raised non-GMO pork. I love these sausages with a patty, with a patty, with a passion. 
to get him for 359 is ridiculous. Once again, I believe it's only in the southeast. But if you have it, get those. They are fantastic. I've wandered into the personal care section to see if anything good is here. This is one of my favorite shampoos and conditioner. It's non-toxic. I normally buy it on Thrive Market, but a cure is great. And then over here on the oral care section, these I love. Both Desi and I use the Lumino teeth whitening strips at home because if you look at the ingredients on most teeth whitening strips, think of the crests and whatnot, they're usually hydrogen peroxide based and they have other unsavory ingredients in there like pegs. But your oral microbiome is too sensitive for hydrogen peroxide and anything you basically put in your gums can leach into your bloodstream. Those are way too abrasive in my opinion. This is Oral Essentials Luminu Teeth Whitening Strips. See where it says non-toxic? Well, yeah, that's great, but the ingredients back it up. You don't see hydrogen peroxide, you don't see pegs, you don't see anything nasty. It's 100% plant-based, but more importantly, it works. Both Desi and I have them in our bathroom right now. I use them whenever I feel like I need them. Stick them on, they work great, and also if you have sensitive teeth or enamel, it doesn't affect that because it doesn't have the harsh ingredients like the hydrogen peroxide. This is great. They have them at uh, Whole Foods. I also saw them recently at Walmart, but on, currently on Amazon, there is a deal for 20% off. You can click the link down below. If you use teeth whitening strips or you're in the market, try the Luminu brand. It's non-toxic and it works. You really don't want the other ones. That's way too harsh for your mouth. This week, Rose had her first pirate's booty at a neighbor house. And I told her it wasn't Bobby approved and she didn't seem to care because it had GMO cornmeal, it's cooked in processed inflammatory canola oil and sunflower oil and has natural flavor. But right behind me is a great alternative to that that truly is Bobby approved. It's these, lesser evil, power curls, just the Himalayan pink salt one. The other ones probably have natural flavors. These are really, really good. I actually got them this week for Rose and she liked them. So instead of GMO corn, it's cassava flour. Instead of processed inflammatory canola sunflower, it's avocado oil. The egg whites are non-GMO, which is almost unheard of for a snack like this. And it's unrefined pink salt. They look like that. They're crispy. They're textured, they're way better than Pirate's Booty, and Rose liked them a lot. So if your kids like Pirate Booty, which has a great name, try giving them this. This stuff is great. It was on sale the other day, it's not now. Try it, you'll love it. Be you, be you. Ladies and gents, two of my favorite things are on sale right now. Siete Red Enchilada Sauce, hello, hello, governor, and the Siete refried beans. That is a ridiculous price of $197. But this is exciting because last year, this was out of stock for a number of months. Look at the ingredients on this enchilada sauce. They are absolutely clean as a whistle, loaded with sabor, and perfect with avocado oil. And I love this one. They have the red one and the green one. The red one was gone for months and months and it finally came back maybe in November. Well, now it's on sale for $4.94. This is a great deal. I usually put this in my pressure cooker, my Instant Pot, with some pasture-raised pork shoulder and make um, pulled pork or uh, taquitos. Fantastic. Looks like this is the last one, and I'll be taking that back. And refried beans. Normally, refried beans, if I pick up any one here, look, this is Amy's. Amy's is usually pretty solid, but this one is cooked in safflower sunflower oil. That's a no-no. Siete always uses best in class avocado oil. Got some seasoning on here. This is a delight for a quick and easy side dish, but for a buck 97, I would venture to say it would maybe cost you the same, if not more, to buy the raw beans and cook it yourself. This is great to have in the pantry, and at that price, woo, you are winning. We don't do that much dairy at home, and when we do have dairy, it's usually 100% grass-fed, but you wanna be blown away by something. This Kite Hill Almond Cream Cheese, specifically the Garden Veggie, but to be honest, all of them, actually no, not strawberry, I'll show you in a minute. Pretty much all of them are fantastic. So it's almond based, but there's no natural flavors. Yes, there's a little bit of gum in there, but most cream cheeses have gums. It's normal to have them in here, but there's no preservative, there's no funky ingredients. This tastes and spreads just as good as real cream cheese. 
The same thing is true for chive, or if you want to save some money. This is the family pack here, family size. It's a little cheaper, but it's just a plain flavor. These are absolutely divine. The reason why I don't like the strawberry one per se. Uh, let's see here. There it is, cane sugar and natural flavor. So no to that one, yes to these, and yes to their version of almond ricotta cheese. It's expensive, but it's on sale. This is such a delight. Once again, ingredients are Bobby approved, but it has a really nice flavor and texture like real ricotta. Fantastic stuff. I'm going home with one of these for sure. I've wandered by another one of my favorite chocolate companies and boom, it's on sale. These are keto cups and these are new brownie batter cups. Think of this like a Reese's peanut butter cup, but Bobby approved with best in class ingredients. My favorite flavor, the hazelnut is sold out. But basically, when you look at the ingredients here, you'll be blown away. Almonds, cacao, Jerusalem artichoke is the fiber, cacao butter, MCT oil, and monk fruit. Look at these ingredients. Look at these macros. Each one of these only has two net carbs, but this one takes the cake. When I tried, takes the batter, I should say. When I tried this for the first time a few weeks ago, I was blown away. First of all, ingredients are insane on this. Cashews, almonds, cacao, tiger nut flour, vanilla bean, Himalayan pink salt. These have, these are a little higher in carbs. These are how many net carbs per? Four, four net carbs per, but this is outrageous. White chocolate on the outside with brownie batter on the inside. It's normally expensive and still it's a bit pricey, but that sale price is delicious. Either these or the keto cups, I did the hazelnut one. Wow, wow, wee wow, these are delish. If you enjoy coffee creamer, I'm gonna show you the best liquid coffee creamer on the market. It is here. Laird. Now, I love Laird, and most people know about their powdered creamer. This is their liquid creamer. This is uh, unsweetened. This is vanilla. What's cool? Well, what's great about it is that it's paleo, meaning it's coconut based. Oh my God, I can't see this. I, I, I got to make these videos using my glasses going forward. I just cannot see any of this anymore. It's too close to my face. Let's see here. There we go. So it's coconut cream based. This one's unsweetened, but the vanilla has a touch of coconut sugar, but they put functional mushrooms in there. Like what is that, chaga and lion's mane? Really good for cognition. This is fantastic stuff here. Um, I'll just put it out there. If you like nut pods, the only nut pod that is Bobby approved is the original, which is it? There we go. The original, because it's the only one that doesn't have natural flavors. Everyone else has natural flavors, but the best powdered creamers are actually in the supplement section. Let me show you. And they're on sale. Collagen creamer from Vital Proteins, collagen creamer from Orgain. What's cool about this is, why not get your creamer with a side of grass-fed collagen? Only get the coconut one from Vital Proteins because it really is coconut milk with grass-fed collagen. The other ones like vanilla and mocha have natural flavors. Or this one is collagen creamer with organic oats and avocado oil here. A great little supplement to your coffee creamer on sale too. So for powdered, I'd say these are the best. And for liquid, the layered one is fantastic too. This is the bread I basically eat every day. It's in the freezer aisle. It's made in Florida on the West Coast and it's on sale. And yes, I know it's pricey, but I load up when it's on sale because this is the cleanest keto bread on the market. My favorite is sourdough and cinnamon raisin. You make keto, dairy-free French toast using this and coconut milk, it's outrageous. But this is keto bread. But unlike most keto breads, it doesn't have any, there we go, any wheat, any gluten, any processed inflammatory oils. It's paleo, so it has cashew butter and arrowroot. It has coconut oil. It has non-GMO eggs, and this one is six gram, six net carbs per slice. This is what I have for breakfast. I'll have two of these with that dairy-free uh, cream cheese, a touch of the uh, fruit juice sweetened organic uh, jam, and my pasture-raised eggs Monday through Friday. This is great, and the cinnamon raisin is fantastic. Yes, you can get cheaper keto bread. You can get them at 
Costco, for goodness sakes, but that one's gonna have soybean oil and tons of wheat and gluten and then a lot of starch to back it out. Try it, especially when it's on sale. Base culture keto bread is dynamite. All right, family, that is it from Whole Foods for the top 10 things to buy here in 2023. And I'm telling you, people think of Whole Foods as expensive, which it can be, but when they have sale prices, it's better than Aldi, it's better than Walmart. You really wanna get things when they have the discounts. But from the grocery store, my favorite place, I leave you like I always do. Hashtag keep on cooking, mad love and peace. Later.